Danny says, poor flexibility is slowing down my progress with TS, shoulder, uh, ugly toed, tight hamstrings. Yeah, man, Danny, it, it, Danny, do you wanna pop on and, and chat? This is, this is kind of like, you know, I wish there was some kind of big magical workaround, but when it comes to shoulder flexibility, there's a certain amount of it that we can overcome with uh, technique, right? The more you can get comfortable with this position and being down here, um, you can overcome a lot. I think a lot of times what ends up happening with TS is, um, toads are a little different, we'll talk about it in a second, but what happens with TS is, is uh, if our hands are not against our body, if they're far away, we're already making it way harder for ourselves, right? So if they're far away from our body, um, and we're, if, if you don't actually feel your arms up against your back, like it's probably not working. If your shoulders are rounded in, like this, they're rounded in, and you're trying to TS cross, it's not gonna be as good versus if you can even, I mean, like I'm not the most flexible with my shoulders either, but if I open my shoulders up and I go from here to here, now I've already got a lot, like that was a couple inches of space on both sides, right? So that's kind of the, right? Like if I open my shoulders and I'm here, I've already got, if I wiggle around, like I've got some more room, right? But there's only so far <laughs> you can go with that before it becomes, I think there's definitely pieces of that that are very technique based that you can, you know, bring, you can open up your chest, you can keep your hands up against your lower back and that'll help. But then after that, it's like, <laughs> you kind of have to do the mobility part of it, you know? <laughs>